Thank you for tuning in tonight. And um, I'm absolutely delighted. Whoops, my cat is here. Whoops, black cat. Whoops, rubbing against my phone. Hi, Lorraine. <laughs> um, I'm so happy that you're here. And I know that you two uh, are uh, meditating this weekend on this very important weekend and I'm just really happy to be sharing what the Hunter Moon um, brings to you and for many in Australia you've you've already seen it in fact in Britain this Hunter Moon has already risen and uh, for some it may be you've already set so I'm just delighted that you're all here Lena Ives, Marie Hauser, Keith Anthony, Michael Ramachandra and Lorraine Costello. So thank you so much for being with me here tonight. And this is going to be a meditation. I love all the hearts coming in. Thank you so much. So keep those hearts coming because this meditation is all about your heart, as every meditation is about your heart. Because in life, what we do and what we tend to do is observe reality. And reality is simply what is going on now. But there's another world that we feel inside and we all feel it immensely at this time because it's a new moon and the new moon is all about new energy. So this is about your letting go of everyday life for a moment and getting in touch with who you are inside. So for this meditation, uh, please just make sure that if you're sitting in a place that you can close your eyes, you can always listen to it later, it will be on YouTube, but you're in a place whereby you can just relax and just go inside and concentrate on your breathing. So just get into that position right now if it's convenient and and stay with me because today we want to experience this within us but also the fact that we are all connected and that is why this is so important on this full moon which is due here in washington dc in a couple of hours and the best time to see it is of course when the moon rises and the moon sets and it is known to be an orange-purple feeling, an orange-pink feeling, perhaps. And we're going to focus on that color because that's the color of this moon. So get into position now and just allow yourself to breathe. And just breathe in. And just breathe out. And maybe you've seen the moon before, or maybe you can imagine this color, but we're talking about an orange-pink color as the hunter moon rises. Already happened in Australia, and it's a very large moon on a clear night. And of course, in ancestral times, moons were about harvests, they were about collecting food, they were about going out to find food, and this was celebrated and acknowledged by our ancestors. So at this time, I want you to bring in any of your personal guides, because we all have guidance. Our inner being, our inner self has guidance. And this meditation is about your inner self at this important time of energy release. So get in touch with those people who have given you guidance in life, whether they are dead or alive. Get in touch with that energy. Get in touch with your ancestors. Get in touch with Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, because they are all here. And with angels, simply, you just have to invite them. Say, please, loving angels, be with me at this important time. So as, as you gather your angels in, just breathe in again, just breathe in. 
and breathe out. And this time as you breathe in, just imagine that pink, orange light of the hunter moon coming in to your body, infusing every cell, every nerve, every muscle, even the space between the atoms in your cells. All that, just experience it, just permeate it as you breathe out. And be grateful for the energy of your ancestors and your guides, Buddha, Christ, all of these who are with you now. Just call them in, your animals, all of them. And feel that energy of love coming in now, just you breathe in and breathe out. And now just feel that energy, just like it's coming in through the top of your head. That's right, right into your divine chakra at the top of your head. Feel it just trickle down and it's going to go through every pore of your body. That's right, and as you breathe out, feel it now. Drop down into your heart. Feel that. And as it drops out down into your heart, feel your heart open and feel this loving warmth go out. Just trickle out and maybe now your hands are beginning to feel kind of numb, expanded, they tingle as all of this tingles inside your body. And with every breath you take, it just gathers energy. It gathers energy. Just feel it going out, that energy of bliss, of alignment, of being in contact with your spiritual being. Because meditation at, at heart is about heart. It is about letting go of that part of your mind that wants to control. So let go of the what is, the reality. Just let it go. So breathe in. Know how you are connected to that divine reality. And now as you breathe out, let go. And feel that energy tingle out into all of your body. And just allow your face to soften, your mind to relax, your jaw to relax. As everything now is just the way it's supposed to be. As you acknowledge the phases of the moon and this powerful moon in Aries which brings new energy. But it's not necessarily that you need to do anything. It's simply that you need to allow the energy to work you. Just to allow it in and whatever you're going through in life, whether it's turmoil, because you know on new moons like this, it's well known that people end up in accidents or they end up having problems or there's emotional disturbances or there's anger or it's an emotional time. So take this time to get in touch with the spiritual side of yourself and feel it in your heart and know that you're surrounded by love, you're surrounded by your angels who are with you and they are always with you, that you have an inner guidance system and all you have to do is to close your eyes and breathe. So breathe in again and breathe out and feel that bliss gather in yourself. As you know how much you are connected to one and to each other, because this new moon also teaches that. It's just the power of connection, which is divine, which is our oneness, which is our soul. And we are in essence, one soul. One soul, one body, one connection, and that we can here experience that. So breathe in again and breathe out. And now imagine that you're standing just in a complete vortex. And this vortex is spinning in an anti 
clockwise direction, rather like going to the toilet in Australia, it spins the other way. And why is it doing that? Because it, when it spins in that counter direction, it's going to take everything now that does not serve you in life, limiting decisions, feelings of unworthiness, maybe soul contracts that you feel that you've taken from another life so that you experience poverty in some way because you feel it's your inherited. It's about limiting beliefs that do not serve you. All of that, this Aries, this moon in Aries is so powerful, that energy right now which you're feeling because the Aries moon has been around for a few days, this energy, it's at its height right now, but it's there. So just get in touch with that and feel and allow and intend for anything that doesn't serve you, just to allow it to let go, to forgive those that you need to forgive, that to cut the cords on things that you need to cut the cords on, relationships or just things that haven't worked. But more than ever, when you let things go, just feel your vibration rise and feel that as this giant vortex that takes out anything now and just allows it just to spin like this and just take it all down from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And for me, as I'm standing now, I realize that I am totally, and for you who are sitting or wherever you are, just feel the light inside all of your seven chakras. It's like your spine is totally illuminated with this fantastic new moon energy. So that Kundalini energy just is right there and just feel that vortex taking out anything that doesn't serve you. Whatever it is, chronic pain, limiting decisions, just allow it to let go so that you can be in this divine sense of the now, your I am present, your divine well-being, your radiant health, because in this moment as you experience it, your body is being bathed in absolutely divine light. Feel it. And in that moment, we are well. Because when we are totally aligned with that wellness, when you allow your inner being to be here now with you, your inner being who loves you, who knows the path to your absolute allowance of everything that you've wanted in your life. And really all you have to do is be in vibration with it. So this is the process. It's a process of meditation. It's a process of quieting the mind so that you can absolutely go inside and focus. And breathe in again. And breathe out. And this time now, just totally as you feel all of your chakras spinning from your divine chakra, your connection to, to God, to your divinity, to your higher self, to your inner being, to your physical side that is now spinning the top of your head, to your throat, which is the, your expression and your inner being in the center of your forehead. That's right, your intuitiveness is now spinning also and coming down into your heart and feel that heart light expand and your upper abdomen as you feel that feeling of confidence which is being aligned with what you want. So maybe there's something in your life that you need to do spiritually and get in contact with that will uplift you and will uplift others. Feel that as you go down into your lower abdomen and into your sacral chakra, which is your creativity. And this opens up and down now into your 
first chakra, which is your elimination. And again, that is the base of this spiral we have going. So you let go of anything that doesn't serve you. So that you radiate that and you feel now your vibration rising as all of this just drains out of your body. Feel it just drain through every muscle, cell, pore and feel it like, maybe you feel it like the hunter moon, that pink light and feel that pink light now in your head, just expanding, going through your head all of your head becomes pink, everything becomes pink and going down into your body so that you see this total pink light go through. And maybe you have a different color. For some people, the color of their absolute health is blue, whatever color is right for you. Feel that flow through your total body so you see yourself out there laughing, skipping, happy, enjoying, being alive and filled with that color light. And a very thin skin separates you from the reality. And it's a thin skin only in the sense that your radiance moves out from your body, moves out to everything that you inspire because your feelings and your vibration do indeed go to the end of the earth. And imagine your dreams now coming true, whatever it is. For me, it is pain elimination and drain that pain, and all the iterations of that going through so that in five or 10 years, really there isn't chronic pain in this world. And people know that they can energetically change their bodies by going simply inside and feeling that oneness with others and feeling that communication with the world so that you're never alone and that you are spirit and you are in fact a spiritual being having a human existence and that what life is, is it's a vibrational reality so that you attract into your life whatever you're thinking. So when you're thinking like this, in other words, the oneness, and if we all thought that way and we all connected at that one particular time, we really can change the world. So it's a brief meditation so just feel that energy now and know that your archangels and this feeling can be with you. And feel now that wonderful sense of calling in any energy that you may have left, maybe in this life or in another life, but feel any energy that was somehow left behind. Feel it come into you, all of the energy from whatever other past lives or this life that you need to recall and reclaim as yours. Feel it come back into your body. Feel that now and feel that how good that is and ground that energy through your feet and know that you are the light and you are love and love is you and you are truly now grounded to earth and feel your love go down into the earth and feel that sense of communion and feel that we can in fact heal the earth through our actions by voting, by being active, by understanding that climate pollution and taking actions, by taking actions within our community and things feeling so grateful for what we have today. So take your message from this full moon as you allow the moon to work you. In other words, meditate, relax, chill, because from these experiences come ideas. 
that, and those are your spiritual being talking to you. They are saying, make a phone call, contact with this person, respond to that. Yes, I can do that. Blah, de blah, de blah. And within that becomes your life, your achievement, your, your connection to the whole. And as we work together, we can indeed heal our planet. And in the process, we've obviously healed ourselves. So feel that tingling now, that excitement in your body, and realize that you can always remember how easy it is to simply meditate and use meditation every day before you go about your day so that you can ground yourself in your spiritual presence and turn off things that do not serve you, whether it's dramas on television that are just cause turmoil within your existence. So be good to yourself, be kind to yourself and know that your archangels, your angels, your guides, your friends, your relatives, those that have passed are with you now and they love you. And take this and be with this, but more than ever, do this. Close your eyes every day before you get up and connect with your heart. Allow it to open and feel that buzz and feel that love within. And I guarantee you within 24 hours, if you do that every day, your life will change simply by connecting with your inner being who absolutely loves you because you feel it, that love, that feeling of never being alone, of being guided from inside. And really all you have to do is just be with it and trust it and trust your intuition. Thank you so much for listening today. I'm Joanna Cameron and I'm also known as the Trance Lady. I am on YouTube as the Trance Lady and thank you so much. We love you. <laughs>